Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds. Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds DLC. And in the last episode, we had did a few things. Uh, we brought back Deep Den, uh, met some folk over at the lovely Song's Edge. And now we have to find the Shaman's Path up to the mountain. Um... I did peep that we now get DLC modifications, so I wanted to see what we could put that on real quick. Uh, oops. Crafting. I don't know if you can... It's for freeze. So I'm assuming it'd be something like this. Yeah. 51, 35, and 35. This gives me 50, 25, and 17. This has tear on it. Hmm. Maybe we put that on the... On this. Yeah. See, this gives me plus 35% corruption, but these don't have corruption. Eh, we'll hold it. We'll hold it up for now. Um, if you guys are enjoying the series, maybe just hit that like button down below. I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, it helps me a ton, and uh, you know, just a small streamer trying to streamer, <laughs> streamer in well, content creator, I guess, uh, trying to grow. Because I do stream, if you don't know, over on Twitch at xcashx98. Uh, the link is on my YouTube, so, and it's in the description. So go ahead and check that out. So, let us go and find the shaman's path. All right. On a campfire. Oh, this is neat. Hmm. I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. Find the ritualistic this must be one marker. Of the markers told me about. Activate it. Optional. How do you activate it? Uh, oh. Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. Okay. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Go up here. Go across. Another marker. Good. Okay, that way then. Right, okay. They told me it was the right way. Not this way. But then, where? 
God damn it. The chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. Here we go. Don't see anything. Okay. Oh shit, there's another. Okay. wasn't terrifying at all. Okay. I'm gonna continue this way. Up we go. Next on this path. Holy shit, this game is beautiful, man. Wow. Shit. All right. Keep her going that way. Oh, this looks terrifying. There we go. Well, then we go. All right, this should be fun. Hurt, not gonna lie. Down it is. Down, then up. I guess so. There's the way up. Climb on up. Climb on down. There's something there. Light oxide. Interesting. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay. I can do that. Okay. If you're just going to. Run, 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 run. 
I can do that. Mm. Run on. Yeah. Oh shit. What the fuck is that thing? Urban wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. Oh dear. I don't want to find out what that is. Okay. I could forget what warmth feels like out here. Campfire discovered. Be dope. Take my shields offline. Ah. Huh. I can't shoot that. And that sucks. Huh. I don't like this. gonna override the tower don't mind me 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 I guess we're doing this frost claw a huge acquisition machine that circulates cryogenic fluids for its attacks and defensive capabilities despite its size it is Quick and deadly. Okay, that's terrifying. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, okay, all right. Yep, that's that's interesting. Oh, it just shrugs it off like it's nothing. What is what 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 is your weakness? Weakness fire. I call cat. Oh my 
my god. There we go. Okay. Scary new machine down. That was that was something. All right, let's climb up. Be able to get up there. On over. Keep her going. Well, the sun's peeking over. Okay. I climb up. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Shit just tweaked. All right, let's try this again. This time it doesn't this randomly throw me off. Naltuk was talking about. I should take some bluebeam sparkles. Let's see why it's worth a lot. Where is this? I don't know. Okay. Now Took said Aurea went past the shrine up into the mountain. I better take those stairs. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. Hello? I'm just gonna let myself in. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. Yeah, my man's going through it. this place what was this place indeed it wants me to go over there so I'm gonna head over here this is director of security Blevins resending the emergency supply order Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Okay. Back here. Sounds like Blevins was a bit of a dick. Okay, I've been hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with our state-of-the-art, ultra-secure, and absolutely necessary lambent orbicular door access. So here's the SLOW version again. The thingy in the middle is a source node. Turn it on. Yeah, I know. Hard, right? Then we've got to turn the other nodes 
so that the data stream containing your credentials gets back to the source. Some nodes shouldn't be too tough because, you know, they're red, like a stop sign. I'm guessing you were taught this in preschool, but what's with this crowd? Who knows? Anyways, that's it. Get to the data stream, but get the data stream back to the source and the door opens. It's really not that hard, but if you need me to, I'll hold your hand while you give it a try. Actually, scratch that. Do it yourself. I'm not going to touch your hand. <laughs> Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Okay. to do with these lights all right these things turn, changing the flow of light here we go I don't know what I'm supposed to do here I think that one's just fine There we go. Interesting. Back over we go. Something back here. Recording. Uh, another email from my sister. I haven't got time to think, let alone reply. Oh, that photo of the girl she sent didn't do much for my conscience. Jenny looks pretty proud of her pilgrim costume. Crap. I've never missed Thanksgiving before. And chances for Christmas, near zero. I can't even tell them that all the work I'm doing is to keep them safe. Okay. Couldn't see if there was one there or not. Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna go out on a whim here and say that volcano has something to do with the project uh, Zero Dawn stuff. Going out on a whim. Maybe to keep the planet out of an ice age or some shit. I don't know. Just guessing. Where do I go from here? No. Oh. Okay, climb over. There we go. Fresh air ahead. Oh, not going that way. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Drop down. Yeah. All right. I 
I'm not much higher to climb. The ray must be close. She has to be in here somewhere. Stage 2 complete. To YNPF All, December 23rd, 2046, first stage of main facility complete. Attention all staff. It's with pride that I announce the completion of the first level of infrastructure of our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center for our project and will require the team's continued best efforts to realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all that you've completed with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a detailed plan for mustering out of the auxiliary space which will serve as a contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. 90% of our personnel must be relocated by 5pm Wednesday. If your name does not appear on the assignment list, please email Marissa with me and CC. Your dedication, talent, and intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. Messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Sally. Sally nudged the mic. Did not mean to. Um, what's we going here? again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? I can't help you if you won't speak! A whisper is all I ask. To guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Okay. <clears throat> but I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Okay. So the light goes out here. All right. Turn you. Oh, there's something to read here. I mean, I, I was reading that. Or attempting to. Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> Anita, as much as, I, as much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed lampant orbicular technology in the lower security door, I meant that for the auxiliary data center it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions to your team to access the system, activate the source node in the middle, then manipulate the other nodes to direct the data stream, your credentials back to the center. Make sure you to avoid the red nodes they're used to isolate any corrupt or sus suspect data. 
I'm sure someday you'll thank Blevins for making our work so very, very secure, Kenny. this way. I see the vision. Hold on. Alright. Alright, so that goes there. That goes there. You go there. Okay. Here we go. Goes there. Did I not do it? Oh, it has to come in through over there. Okay. There. Whoops, wrong way. You go there. You go there. And there. Successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Another to return to task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that, but... You and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes, but I would be breaking an oath, and that I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light gets sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me 
But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Okay. Are you in love with this spirit? <laughs> it's Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was... The expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrick of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratok called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. He and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. 
Besides, Arutak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werex attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Okay. Storm Slinger. All right. So, for the Warwick, prove yourself to the Warwick. Complete two of the following objectives. Clear out the bandit camp. Complete a trial at the hunting grounds. Repair and override the tall neck, which we did. Gather pigments and deliver them to Sekuli. <clears throat> so this is the part where we start doing the open world stuff. Um, there is this errand here that's not too far away that I do want to do as well. Uh... Okay, what is this weapon? This weapon fires charged bolts. Consecutive bolts build up a large charge and deal increased damage. Interesting. Aloy. I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. I got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Warwick will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. How's Aratok going to react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warwick. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Werak indeed. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banaur to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Asaram has equipped a gang in the Plume Lands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. You mentioned your friend, Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time and any aid you give her will be remembered. Okay. I need to get going. There is much to be done. Oh, we got a... Squirrel bone. Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right. Let us go to. Hmm. The sacred shared, secret shared, which is up this way. 
All right. Cool. I guess we just start chugging. Oh, there's stalkers here. That's lovely. Okay. There's no way in here. Here's one of the metal birds. Go up. If I could move that flying machine over a little. Hey, this is slightly terrifying. I don't know where the stalker is. <clears throat> Activate console. in there. Hey -ya. Got an animal figurine. Climb on up. Climb Climb on up. There we go. There's the door lock. I'll need to configure it. Okay, so this goes right, this goes bottom, and this goes right. Oh! There, I thought you can go back there. You cannot! Alright, so I guess we go down. the ladder. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. Okay. Go on through the little hatch. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Ban him. To Kenny Chow from Harris Bonner. Kenny, I get it okay, I really do. Pharaoh is Firebreak's patron. Blevins is Pharaoh's lapdog. Circle of ass kissing, blah blah blah. But if you allow Blevins to remain on site, insulation is going to take twice as long as we're budgeted for. I don't know how deep Firebreak's pockets are, but I can guarantee you they're not bottomless. We've just got done recalibrating the entire fleet. The entire fleet, Kenny. Why well, imagine you're wondering? Oh, Kenny, I'm so glad you hy hypothetically asked. Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behavior routines of the security drones. You know, the ones he selected himself. Not aggressive enough, he said. I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on an ICBM would be aggressive enough for him. So we patched in some combat behaviors, which, let me tell you, was not easy. Basically outfitting these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. 
bleeding edge combat drones patrolling an empty wilderness. Also, also Blevins can play army on fire breaks dime. I'm begging you, Kenny, find a way to bar him from the hangar, please, Harris. Shouldn't be hard to remove. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. Okay. We got it. Oh shit. Whenever I was over here, I said examine rail guide. There we go. Something's been hacked oh. out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. All right. Climb on out of here. So this thing right. will improve my spear, huh? So we have to go talk to Kamut. Let's go do that. All right, here's the McDude. Is this what you? Hush, hush! A shaman's secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending, and and what does the conclave do? They sit. They chant. They observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. The spear right. has slots for modification I items. My spear. Go to the treasure boxes, grab a spear mod, then go to crafting to modify your spear. Oh, cool. Okay, so Silence Lance. Yep, there it is. Oh, that's dope. Now we can do some damage with this thing. Uh, new tutorial. Clear these out. There we go. Okay. Um, there is a quest up here that I wanted to grab next to the, uh, trader. And then also we can finally get those maps. Which I think he has. We can finally get one of these. I don't know if it's better though. Seventy and ninety for that. What is ours? Oh wow, much better. Much much better. Well. I think we go ahead and grab this, the nuke striker bow. Cool. Let's go to resources, no, traps, ammo, treasure boxes, special items. All right, animal figurines, pigments, 
Now we just need blue gleam, which we need goat skin and badger bone for. Go back into inventory. 40. This is a base damage of 28. That's kind of crazy. So I'll take them off real quick. We'll grab this. This. And this. So now we do 75 and then 133 for the hard point ones. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh shit. Cool. Alright. Uh. I like the bow look. Looks tough. Hey, Lord. Let's see. Yeah, let's say you won't have anything new. However, you should have. No, you don't. Hmm. Guess not. All right. Well, you suck. What can I do for you, Burgrind? Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with Outlanders. Then. They up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. So I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago. And I'm starting to worry about them. Tell me, Burgrind, are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. Uh-huh. What kind of deal was this, really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide nor hair. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with Banuk. That's shaman's work, you see. The hunters take down the machines. The shamans slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm, they weren't telling. But hammer to steel is not a happy story. Whatever it is. You said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure. But I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. So they're leaving Banuk territory. Sensible behavior. Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. I'm not a debt collector, Burgrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. <laughs> but uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> a scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll... consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. Some songs are rituals. Okay. Stories, so, we have a new side quest. But my favorite cool. Simply jokes. All right. How long until the well. The perfect machine? Will that no will be it fight. for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we have to we have prove ourselves to the Warwick now. Uh, we already did one thing, which was the tall neck, so we just have to figure out something else. What I may end up doing is putting a pause on that and going and getting all of the open world things up in this territory, because it seems like it's kind of what it wants you to do anyways. So yeah, uh, we have two side quests to do as well. 
And uh, I just want to do some exploration. I'm sure there's quests around here that we haven't seen yet. Um, I don't know what's up here. But take a look at that. Well, if you guys stuck through this long, you might as well hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get alerted when the next episode goes live. I'd very much appreciate it. And with all of that out the way, I will see you guys in the next one. Hi. Peace.